Hey everybody, this is Empress 555 coming at you today with another message. We're going to talk about, did they really love you or do they really love you? Please like, share, and subscribe to the channel. Hit the notification bell so you can be notified when I go live for readings like this and other messages, okay? Make sure you like, share, and subscribe to my new channel, Moon Energy Intuition. For more information, please see the description box. Also, look at the channel, check out the readings, all right? Let's get into it. Did they really love you or do they love you? First off, I asked that question. However, it resonates with you. I say that because oftentimes people can say really nasty things to you. Maybe out of anger, maybe out of frustration, who knows? But think about it. I really want you to think. Did the person on your mind right now, do they love you or did they love you? Oftentimes we hear people saying things like, especially at the end of a relationship, you need to move on. You need to go on. You need to get it through your head that it's over. You know, I never loved you. I love you, but I'm not in love with you. You know, move on. Think about that. If somebody can tell you that. Now, granted, sometimes relationships end because sometimes it's time for them to end. And do you ever notice that some people don't hardly say much of anything because they're just as hurt, if not hurt more than you are, right? But for those that really just try to just, just break you down and saying those ugly things, like I mentioned before, move on, get it through your head, it's over, you know, all this. I've even, you know, heard people say, you're never going to find anybody like me. Anything that they could do to try to, Condemn your spirit to try to throw you down. That's what they say. Those people don't love you. Those people don't love you right then. Now they could have been falling in love with you as they were with you. And we're going to explain that. But in that moment, those people didn't love you. Because anybody that loves you, anybody that really cares, they're not going to have that coming out of their mouth. And certainly if it slips out, they're not going to keep saying it. They're going to be so quick to apologize, to try to make sure that you don't think that they're serious. But when a person can look and say those things to you, move on, get on with your life, get it through your head that it's over. I'm, I love you, but I'm not in love with you. You need to just go on. And if a person can tell you that, that person in that moment does not love you because that's too painful for anybody that really, really loved you like you deserve to be loved to say to you, I want you to let that marinate in your spirit, marinate, okay? How can, and I've said this before in one of my lives, how can the same mouth that told you I love you, that kissed you every day, you know, um, just said all the sweet things that we say when we're with somebody. How can that person with that same mouth, it's attached to the same person that when they get tired and they want to move on can tell you, I don't love you anymore. You need to move on. You need to do this and you need to do that. How can that, how can it be like that? Think about it. Nine times out of 10, that person loved you on a condition. They loved you on a condition as in like you're doing what they want you to do or you're behaving in the way that's comfortable for them. But once things got a little tough, it got a little heated, things got a little thick. All of a sudden their love dynamic changed. No, no, that may have been a person that wasn't all the way in for whatever the reason. So then we wonder how is it that months, years, decades later, these same people can come back and, or, or try to come back. Cause a lot of you are not with that. Okay. But they try to come back and all of a sudden I never stopped loving you all of a sudden. There's not a day that, go, that went by that I didn't think about you. All of a sudden, 
I recognized what your role was in my life and you were only trying to help me. Now that person with, you know, the same mouth attached to that person is coming back and saying that, right? Ironic, right? Let me tell you what has happened. That person has matured. That person has been out here. That person has been around other energies that were not your energy. They have been out here around people that were not genuine, people that took them for granted, people that treated them like they treated you. That's how they became more fond of you. Absence make the heart grow fonder. That's how they became more fond of you. That's how they started falling in love with you when you weren't there. You were falling in love with them while you were getting to know them. You were spending years, however long, maybe you were married to the person. You were all in. This person was not. But over time, mistakes, life happens. Things get real. Then they, they mature. It may be months, years, decades. They mature. Life happens. Things go on. They have losses. They have grief. They think about the person that was always there. They think about a person that was consistent. They think about somebody that had unconditional love. How many times they didn't get it right and you were still there until you just couldn't take it anymore. That's why they think about you. That's why they think about you. Because they had to reach a pinnacle of being able to see your worth. They had to get to a position in their life that they were able to really appreciate a person like you. And what better way to appreciate you than to have your absence. And by that time, a lot of you don't want the person back. Maybe you have become friends a little bit because time has passed, but you can't think about going back down that road unless you feel energetically comfortable with it. Now, some people such as Jennifer Lopez, Ben Affleck found love again. Sometimes it happens. Okay. But it's that betrayal, it's that lying, it's that deceit, it's that seven of swords, energy, deception that makes it hard for you to ever trust that person. You may become friends, you may always love and care about the person, but you'll never forget what they did. And I'm going to be honest, a lot of times if you wouldn't have went through what you went through with that person, you wouldn't have transformed to whom you are, the person that you are now, and you wouldn't have accomplished what you have accomplished because that heartbreak, that disappointment, that betrayal that you went through because of them really helped motivate you to get back out there, start that business, become more health conscious, you know, become a motivational speaker or whoever, you know, to really, really focus more on you, see things as being precious stuff as such as life being more helpful only want to surround yourself with people that appreciate you if it wasn't for this person breaking your heart and leaving you i'm gonna be honest with you y'all you probably would have never discovered this version of you so thank that person be grateful to that person that they decided to be like that you didn't like it but I'm telling you, it did something for you. It did something for your growth. On the downside, they have to sit back and look at how much you've changed. Look at how much you've grown. Look at how many years have went by or months. And look how you're looking. Look how you're faring. And try to think about what life would have been like if they had stayed with you. You know, we can't do anything about that but continue to wish them well. All right, everybody. Thank you so much. Please like, share, and subscribe. Hit the notification bell so you'll be notified when I go live and for other readings. Leave me a comment and let me know how it resonates. Okay. Thank you. Stay safe and blessed. All right. Goodbye. Have a great one. Bye.